Valid intersections is available in planning, financial consolidation and close, tax reporting, sales planning cloud and strategic workforce planning. Let us take a look at valid intersections in planning. Restrict the data intersections valid in your application by creating a valid intersection group that contains one or more valid intersection rules. I'll create the entity and product valid intersection group. Make sure that the definition type is set to valid intersection. I'll define valid intersection rules that restrict product selections based on entity the anchor dimension. Anchor dimensions are required for each valid intersection group and will only be evaluated for plant types which use the dimension. All valid rules within the valid intersection group use the same anchor dimension. You can add one or more non-anchor dimensions in each rule. You can choose members individually, use function selector or search for members. I'll select members for the anchor dimension. Next, I'll select members for the non-anchor dimension. In this example, I created a rule where all members under total products are valid for the sales entity. By default, unselected members are valid option is selected. If this option is kept selected, the anchor dimension members that are not specified in the valid intersection rule are marked valid. You can mark them as invalid by clearing this option. I added a few more rules to the group. When there is a redundancy or an overlap between rules within the same valid intersection group, the intersection is marked valid when any valid intersection rule condition is met. For example, for sales northeast and international sales, only descendants of computer equipment should be valid. However, sales northeast and international sales are descendants of sales. The first rule makes all descendants of total products valid for all descendants of sales which overrides the restrictions created in these additional rules. Always check your valid intersection rules to avoid conflicts and overlaps. While I add another rule, let's talk about exclusions. Exclusions allow you to disable a subset of selection from either an anchor or a non-anchor dimension. In this example, for international sales, I'll add total products but exclude game, camera and television. For sales northeast, I'll add descendants of total products but exclude software suite and network card. You can enable or disable valid intersection groups. Increase the speed and efficiency of the overall intersection evaluation by changing the order of which the valid intersection rules and groups are listed. With valid intersections defined, let's see how this translates on a form. Let's look at product selections for international sales. Notice that the products, game, camera and television are grayed out or read only. Now, I'll select the sales northeast entity. We can see that the computer services, software suite and the network card are invalid and grayed out. You can modify dimension and member combinations for your valid intersection rules. Use the Actions menu to edit, duplicate, delete and change the evaluation order of valid intersection groups. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.